it's happy mail queen welcome back to my channel and happy friday to everybody uh, today i wanted to come on to share a few halloween projects that i've been working on on and off um, in the last month or so um, i've been using my cricut quite a bit and that was one of my crafty resolutions this year just to use my cricut more so um, anyway, I had um, a few SVG files that I wanted to cut and um, I went ahead and did that and I've been a little obsessed with Halloween Hello Kitty lately. So that's what you're going to see here, you guys. Everything's going to be pretty much Hello Kitty. Okay, so let me go ahead and share first this tray of cuteness. <laughs> I love it you guys I started off I think this is one of the first cuts that I did because she's just too adorable and the SVG file I believe I got this one on Etsy so they have so many um, so you can check that out if you want to um, I cut her using 110 pound cardstock so it'd be nice and sturdy and she's about five inches tall and um, yeah, I just put all the pieces together. This wasn't too bad. Some um, other ones that I've cut here were a million pieces. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, but um, it, you know, it is easy to put together or easy to cut if you're using your Cricut. You can just do a bunch of them at a time. Um, and that's what I did here. So, um, like I said, on and off. This one is one of my recent ones right here. I purchased um, this file on Etsy as well, but this one is a lot of pieces, you guys. Even just those little um, specks on her eyes, that is an actual little uh, paper piece. Um, of course, I could have used um, the gel, right? Like the, the white gel pen. I guess next time maybe I'll do that because these were just so hard to to find sometimes on your Cricut mat because they're so tiny and they, they get lost or they get cut up. Um, so anyway, <laughs> but she's adorable. It's totally worth it putting this together though, but I, I think I only did maybe four of these just because um, it's a lot of pieces. So, um, but she reminds me of the Cream Shop um, packaging. That's why I had to have her because look, it's so cute. It's practically the same except for the colors. But um, I have another packaging um, that I, I shared with you guys and it had a, what is it? A foot mask and it looks just like this one. So <laughs> anyway, she's so adorable. Those are one of my favorite ones. The ones with the, you know, cat costume. Um, but this, when I put this together has to be my all time favorite right now. She is so cute and I love how it came out and I love the color combo and I used um, this Cricut holographic paper that I had gotten a long time ago from Amazon, stocked up on that and I love it. I, yeah, that was such a great deal. This was um, not too bad actually, not too many pieces. It looks like it's a lot of pieces but um, you know, they're kind of big pieces so it wasn't too bad to put together and this one I think is about three inches or three and a half uh, it's like close to three and a half it's like three and four eighths maybe uh, three and three eighths I should say something like that she's so cute and she's uh, what is this one called she is called a not I guess she's kind of like Frankenstein right um, yeah, maybe. She could be Frank and Stein Kitty. Frank and Kitty. This one is so cute. I found this SVG also on Etsy. And I just had to get the pink mummy. She's so cute. Again, though, a million pieces. <laughs> I, should, I shouldn't say a million. It's like a hundred pieces or so. Not quite, but you know what I mean. I'm exaggerating. <laughs> but it was a lot to put together, so... Yeah, and this one is so cute as well. And um, I had to find this SVG file because I was inspired to create a uh, mini album using um, this little skull kitty, um, inspired by Eric, one of Erica's um, die sets, which is new in her shop and I actually bought it and it's the skull 
um, mini album uh, die set. So thank you, Erica. I know you shipped it already and can't wait to get it. But I was inspired to cut this because of that particular die set. But isn't it cute? And this was easy to put together. Not too many pieces, but I did cut it really big because I wanted to make a mini album out of it. And I'm going to share that with you guys in a minute. Um, this is like five and a half inches wide and tall. It's about maybe four and a quarter. Maybe a little more than four and a quarter uh, tall. But yeah, the width, I made it really big because I wanted to create a mini album. And I'll sure, share that with you guys in a minute. Here's a ghosty one. So cute, right? Adorable. And then I, I did a bunch, a, a couple of skulls. Um, um, one of my friends shared a one of these files, and it's so cute. She's so cute. She's a little, hello kitty skeleton. But I also like this one, so I had to put this one together. But let me tell you, putting these together is like night and day. This one was so easy. Um, very little pieces. I mean, I can tell you there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces all together. Versus this one is like twice as much, or maybe three times as much. It's a lot of pieces, especially the little bones. Um, so anyway, they're still both adorable. And I had to do a, a kitty a corn or a candy corn. <laughs> Hello Kitty candy corn. She's so cute. Love that one. And then, of course, a couple of witches. So this is just the witch head. She's so cute. And then this one, I've seen this a while ago, but I finally got the SVG file. So she's so cute. I changed up the color of the little treat bag. So there's that one. And then I did it in orange as well. Because these are my favorite colors to work with on Halloween. Aside from black, do a bunch of other cuts. Because I needed sentiments. So uh, sometimes it's hard to find like on your, um, you know, Halloween collections. Um, you know, you might get like one sticker or one die cut that says Happy Halloween. And the rest are other, you know, sentiments. But I wanted a bunch of these. So I did them in different colors. And these were fun to put together. And this one, I, uh, I think the cut I bought from Silhouette Design Store. Because I have an account with them. So I did it in this color. I did it in orange. And this um, fun pinkish purple color. And then this one's another cute one right here. Look how cute. It's a ghost. It says, Happy Halloween. And again, this is from the the silhouette store so cute and and then this one was really fun too to put together yeah I wanted the letters to you know be connected because then when you cut it it's easier to also um, paste you know uh, glue together versus this one you have to glue every single every single letter when I put this one together, I absolutely love the skull um, bow. She, it's so cute. And this piece right here in the middle, this is connected to this one. And uh, I just love it. It was easy to put together because it wasn't a million pieces. So I made a bunch of these in different colors. And let me just share that with you guys. Look, you guys. So cute, right? Yeah, so I just, you know, made a, made a bunch of them. It, that's the beauty of, you know, using your Cricut. You can just make a bunch of them in one sitting. And then you just paste it whenever, you know, you have time. So fun. I decided to make a little box in the back so that I can hold this sea lollipop. So when I created the box here, um, I found one of my dice... It's actually a coffee cup or teacup die set that I got from Allie. And this is what I decided to use right here, this piece, to create the box on the back. Because 
it was the perfect size for this lollipop as you can see I actually trimmed it down a little bit um, but yeah I thought it'd be easier so um, I went through my stash of dies and I found it and always good to use what you have right so that's how I created these and then I just put the panels I just kind of sized it so it would um, you know have a nice black border so that's what I did with these um, Hello Kitty heads well I made this one using that same die and there's that skull bow <laughs> from that other SVG cut um, I put this one on on the candy corn and I can put a lollipop in there or any of those fun size candy so super cute right to just um, make for your you know granddaughter or your kids any um, kids trick-or-treating in your block they're just so cute and it does fit the lollipop too so if I wanted to put the lollipop in there and this one just has a little handle that I just you know cut myself so cute and then this I made another one but this time around I used a different um, like box maker and this time I used Scrap Diva Designs her 3D paper cake set this is what I use because you can this is a must-have die if you don't have this one um, because you can create any any shaped box I think I cut the large one because I didn't know exactly what size this was and then I just kind of cut it down because I don't think I used the whole length of it but as you can see on the inside there this part you just fold fold uh, the flaps and then you just put it on each side of the die cuts or the SVG cut that I did here I hope I'm making sense but anyway that's how I put that one together and um, so I made those little treat treat boxes I made a couple of um, toppers and this is an older die I'm not sure if she still has this from scrap diva designs but Erica had sent this to me last year and I never really got to use it or if I did maybe I used it once <laughs> but I wanted to revisit this die and I just added this bow um, again I this is the the little bows that I made here so I went ahead and made these toppers so cute and this die set just a skull bag topper this year she has a different skull bag topper um, you know the girl skull it's really cute you'll uh, I also bought that one she has it in three different sizes so it's a little bit different but this was from last year's so um, that's what I use for this one because I haven't gotten my my order yet from Erica and so that's what I made there and then let me show you my mini my mini album that I ended up making using the Cricut and so I use that SVG file this one here but then I decided to weld uh, this piece right here which is it, it was a rectangular um, shape that I just um, added or I welded on this on this base piece here and then I had the Cricut put holes on it too which I also welded on there and I was able to create this mini so isn't this adorable and I just put some flowers some wild orchid craft flowers and I think this is a 99 cent store flower or a, not 99 cent store Dollar Tree flower so I just made my own you know mats and so cute I just used um, 110 pound cardstock and then this Michael's cardstock 65 pound cardstock there so super cute right so easy and then I just use jump rings for the um, the rings here to bind it so that's my little mini I've been wanting to put this one together this is another scrap diva designs 
a peppermint mini album although I didn't make an album I wanted to make a treat box using this and using the 3d paper cake set because again I used this to create the box and oh my gosh you guys they came out so stinking cute this was my favorite so I had to make this one this is my favorite Hello Kitty one of them <laughs> And oh my gosh, so cute. I did um, add the stickers. These are foam stickers from another collection. It's like an older collection that I have. Um, and then, see I made a box. So cute. I used 110 pound cardstock. And then I even made the little candy. That comes with this one too. If you don't have this die set, it's a must because you can use this for any occasion. With Christmas and Halloween coming up, you can use it for that. Um, so I use that smaller um, candy candy die. And I just made a bunch of different color candy. And it's just a great way to, you know, gift somebody some no calorie candies <laughs> these were so fun to make I love them and I even made the shaker one and um, I found a dome uh, it's one of those Sizzix uh, dome pieces um, it's supposed to be to create a globe but I used it because it was perfect it kinda um, fit well, it's, it's a little bit bigger. The dome is a tad bigger, as you can see. It kind of sticks out a little bit, but it's plastic, so you can't really see it. Um, but I thought it worked well if you want to put a lot of pieces in there. And then I did use, um, there's Karomi. I don't know if you can see. There's Karomi, her little face. I used the little clay slices. And um, I had gotten that from scrapbook.com. It's the, it's a kitty, um... Oh, now I don't know where I put it. I was going to show you guys. It's a little shaker mix. But anyway, I did that. So that, that one came out so cute. And then I think I used a this paper right here. I think that was a um, from Park Lane from Joann's. One of those paper packs that my friend gifted me so I made that one and then of course I had to make this one here because this one is like a candy corn <gasps> love this paper too I love this combination it's so bright and cheery the orange and the yellow so cute and perfect for my little witchy um, Halloween kitty there and I put some candy in there too I made a shaker and this time I used a little Hello Kitty head right there if you can see her head clay slice so cute so I put that together and I just used some ribbon from Michaels these I love these mesh ribbons one of my favorite ones to use and then here I used one of those skull bows So on candy corn, I think this is um, doodle bug stickers. And like I said, I was kind of on a roll. For those of you who like pastelloween, <laughs> I had to do a pastel color one because of this um, pink mummy kitty that I put together. I used some Frank Garcia stickers. I think these were from, I'm not sure if this was from Luna, his um, Halloween collections. It might have been from the previous collection, not Luna. But the little candy corn is so cute. And did the same thing. Put the skull on the edges here on the ribbon. So cute, right? Love how this one came out. And the paper I used is really pretty pink. Oh, not pink. This pastel color is... Um, this is from first edition. I think it's like Celebration. Um paper pad from Joann's. I had to do this one, the little skull, and this one has this doodle bug paper here that's so cute. I think it's from the pumpkin party one. 
I'm not mistaken. So cute. Look at the sprinkles. Love how they came out. And that's it, you guys. Sorry, this video is a little long, but I wanted to just share what I've been working on. And um, I hope you guys are having fun making your Halloween uh, treat boxes and treat bags and whatnot. So thanks for stopping by my channel, and I'll see you on my next video, guys.